Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the US-1 public meeting. My name is Jude Jim Francois, and I am the project manager for the Florida Department of Transportation. During the meeting, we will explain the plan improvement along US-1 from Myers Drive to the Crane Creek Bridge. We encourage your input, and there are many ways to provide feedback. All comments and questions will be responded to in writing and will become part of the public meeting record. I will now turn it over to our party team to begin the presentation. This meeting is being conducted in a hybrid format to provide multiple ways for the public to receive information about the project and provide input. This meeting is being conducted in person, virtually through GoToWebinar, and over the phone. A copy of the PowerPoint presentation is available on the project webpage at cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 4487931. That's C-F-L-R-O-A-D-S dot C-O-M forward slash P-R-O-J-E-C-T forward slash 448793-1. The purpose of tonight's meeting is to explain the project goals, present the department's recommended improvements to help achieve those goals, and hear from the community about the proposed changes. This public meeting was advertised and is being conducted in accordance with state and federal requirements, including Title VI of the Civil Rights Act of 1964. Public participation is solicited without regard to race, color, national origin, age, sex, religion, disability, or family status. Persons wishing to express their concerns about Title VI may do so by contacting Melissa McKinney, District 5 Title VI Coordinator, by mail at 719 South Woodland Boulevard, Mail Station 501 Deland, Florida 32720 by phone at 386-943-5077 or email melissa.mckinney at dot.state.fl.us. That's M-E-L-I-S-S-A dot M-C-K-I-N-N-E-Y at D-O-T dot S-T-A-T-E dot F-L dot U-S. You may also contact Stefan Kulikowski, State Title VI Coordinator, by mail at 605 Suwanee Street, Mail Station 65, Tallahassee, Florida, 32399-0450, by phone at 850-414-4742, or email at stefan.kulikowski at dot.state.fl.us. That's S-T-E-F-A-N dot K-U-L-A-K-O-W-S-K-I at D-O-T dot S-T-A-T-E dot F-L dot U-S. This information is shown on a sign at the in-person location, on the project website, and in the meeting notifications. This improvements project runs 2.1 miles on US-1 from Myers Drive to Crane Creek Bridge. This project includes the City of Melbourne's Streetscape project from University Boulevard to the Crane Creek Bridge. Currently, US-1 has three lanes in each direction from south of Robert J. Conlon Boulevard northeast to University Boulevard. The lanes vary in width from 11 and a half feet to 12 feet. The corridor includes a raised median that varies from 22 to 30 feet wide. There are five foot wide sidewalks and four foot wide paved shoulders that can be used by bicycles on both sides of the road. The proposed improvements include restriping to make all three travel lanes 11 feet wide, creating a six foot wide buffered bike lane in both directions. The medians and sidewalks remain the same. As part of this project, FDOT is constructing elements of a streetscapes project developed by the City of Melbourne. The purpose of the streetscape project is to beautify the US-1 corridor from WH Jackson Street to the Crane Creek Bridge. Improvements include street lighting, landscaping and irrigation improvements, milling and resurfacing, and construction of raised medians. Currently, that area has three 10 to 13 foot wide travel lanes in each direction with an 11 foot wide center two way left turn lane. There are five foot wide sidewalks on both sides of the road. There are no bike lanes in this area. 
The project will restripe the travel lanes to create two 10 foot wide inside lanes and one 11 foot wide outside lane on each side of US 1. The project also proposes replacing the center turn lane with an 11 to 15 foot wide raised grassed median. The sidewalk will remain and no bike lanes are planned for this stretch of the corridor. The proposed raised medians include two directional medians. The first is at Roosevelt Avenue. Drivers on southbound US-1 will be able to turn left onto Roosevelt Avenue. Drivers coming from Roosevelt Avenue will have to make a right turn onto northbound US-1, then make a U-turn to go in the southbound direction. The second directional median is at Jernigan Avenue. Drivers on US-1 can turn left onto Jernigan Avenue. Drivers on Jernigan Avenue will need to take a right, then make a U-turn to go the opposite direction. The rest of the streetscapes corridor includes raised medians with landscaping. Other improvements along the entire corridor within the project limits include upgrading crosswalks, updating curb ramps to meet Americans with Disabilities Act or ADA requirements, and pedestrian signals. Design for this project is underway and is anticipated to be complete in late 2024 at an estimated cost of $2 million. All work will be done within the existing right of way. Construction is anticipated to begin in early 2025 at an estimated cost of $3.6 million. We encourage your input and feedback about this project and there are multiple ways for you to participate. All public comments and questions are part of the public meeting record and every method for providing public comments and questions carries equal weight. While comments and questions will be accepted at any time, those submitted by October 13th, 10 days after the public meeting, will become part of the project's public meeting record. All comments and questions will be responded to in writing. In-person attendees are encouraged to speak with project team members to ask questions and provide input. To submit a comment for the public meeting record, please complete a printed comment form and return it to project staff. Written comments may also be submitted on the project website at www.cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 448793-1. You may also contact the project manager directly by email at jude.jeanfrancois at dot.state.fl.us. That's J U D E dot J E A N hyphen F R A N C O I S at dot.state.fl.us. Dot FL dot US, or by U.S. mail at the Florida Department of Transportation, 719 South Woodland Boulevard, mail station 542, DeLand, Florida, 32720. You may also call the project manager at 386-943-5487 to provide verbal comments during normal business hours. The contact information is also available on the public meeting notification that you may have received by mail. To learn more about this project, go to www.cflroads.com. Type the project number 448793-1 in the search box at the top right and click Go. Then click on the project name. Public meeting materials are posted on the website now. On behalf of the Florida Department of Transportation, thank you for attending this public meeting and providing your input on this project. If you have comments or questions after the meeting, please submit them by Friday, October 13, 2023. Have a good evening.